Hey, good morning on this Saturday morning. Back in my studio, this is Ken Obasi Leslie. And uh, gonna do some painting or do some work. I'm gonna show you some work and show you some different styles uh, that I have uh, experienced uh, while doing artwork. Um, you know, and maybe this is a problem with uh, my situation commercially, I don't know, but uh, you know, I, I, I just don't like to stick with one style of work, uh, you know, be pigeon, pigeon toed to like say, okay, you know, maybe, you know, uh, people call that the signature or, you know, or whatever. But um, in a sense, uh, uh, the process is always uh, in the state of searching, you know, and uh, sometimes, you know, your spirit is telling you to do this and and maybe your spirit is telling you, you know, so, you know, I, I may uh, change. I, I may uh, go into a different style. I may go into, you know, using different uh, different medium, uh, depending on how I feel, depending on what I want to say, you know, because. Uh, the process of doing art or doing something creative, you know, is it, uh, you have to stay in that state of being inspired and whatever it takes for you to maintain that uh, that uh, that level of vibration or, or, or whatever, you know, I mean, that's what you have to do, you know, so uh, uh, basically right now I got my music going in the background. Um, I got my morning coffee here. So let's let's get started. Uh, right here uh, is a piece I, I did some time ago. Uh, and, you know, and, and, I, and I did this piece uh, based on a style called the uh, pointillism. You know. Where you know I you know I would just take uh, you know magic marker or uh, whatever and uh, just do little points you know just uh, just um, you know and do little points in different colors. Uh, you know, and and actually, uh, in a sense, you know, this is is a way uh, photography uh, you know, this basically uh, uh, was a style of how you would see uh, pixels or whatever you want to call it, you know, and you know, and if you you know, took a micro, uh, magnifying glass and looked at uh, uh, a photo, you know, uh, that photo would be, uh, uh, would represent a certain level of, uh, of, of pixels, you know, and sometimes the, uh, the, the, the level of pixels that you uh, observe uh, really affects how clear the photograph would be, you know. I, I used to work for a newspaper where uh, we had to put photographs in, uh, you know, in the newspaper. So I would get the photograph and I would have to actually take another picture of the a photograph, you know, uh, in order to change the, the level of pixels so that that photograph, those pixels would be in harmony with the printing process, you know. So, uh, uh, you know, that, that gets pretty technical, but, you know, uh, hey, that's the way it works, you know. I'm not gonna get too deep into that, but, uh, you know, but basically, uh, this is uh, uh, what this artwork is uh, based upon, and, you know, and there was a style that was you know, more or less defined uh, years ago, and they call it pointillism. Okay. Here's another piece that uh, 
I did some time ago uh, using the same process, pointillism process. And, uh, you know, and, and I probably will get into doing some more pieces I like this, uh, I, yeah, because I, I like what happens with the colors and how uh, things seem to uh, affect the eye and and all of that, you know, you know, and it just kind of gives it, it gives you a different way of seeing things, you know, uh, you know, when it comes down to art, you know, so, uh, but yeah. Um, yeah, you know, so, you know, it's just something like I, like I always say that, um, um, you know, we're here to uh, experience my studio, you know, and, you know, what I do and, and, and to be able to make a video for you, you know, inspires me to get in my studio, inspires me to uh, really start uh, working some things that uh, I need to e either finish or uh, embellish or you know or t you know take it to another level um, you know it's just that uh, and, you know and my, and my process is uh, sometimes pretty crazy you know sometimes you know I'll work a piece and and sometimes I you know go as far as just uh, kind of maybe mess up a piece, you know, mess it up, you know, in order to be able to take it to another level, to, to order to transmute, you know, uh, what, what the mistakes are. And the mistakes sometimes are, you know, gives me uh, inspiration to, you know, try to correct the mistakes and, and, and through the process of correcting the mistakes, you know, I discover new uh, vistas. <laughs> I discover uh, new things that I can do uh, to the piece. Uh, here's another piece that I'm uh, working on. Uh, actually, uh, this piece is, uh, you know, I I've been working on this piece for a while and uh, you know, and, and, and it's just basically uh, a portrait. You know, uh, I don't know yet where I'm going to take this. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's just that uh, so far I kind of like what's happening. There's some things that I need to correct on it. But, uh, you know, you and I will do that together. You know, no, no problem there. You know, I mean, you know, art is all, all about... Uh, that process of correcting and and changing and and experimenting and discovering, you know. So you know, it's just that uh, here we go, you know. Uh, but right now, I I can see some things that uh, are, you know I'm gonna kind of shape the eyes a little bit, uh, give give a. Give the eyes a, a little, uh, little something there, a little something, something, you know, as they say, a little something, something, you know, and uh, and you know, and and I've been kind of working with these hands, you know, I'm gonna bring out the uh, bring out the fingers a little bit. You know, uh, okay. Now, you know, I mean, you know, what I'm doing here may just be just something preliminary, you know, it's just that, because uh, actually, um, uh, I'm, don't think right now I'm going to be working with this piece with you, uh, you know, through the duration of this video, you know, but I just kind of like basically just want to show you this is this is done in acrylic paint, and uh, so basically it has a uh, acrylic basis to it. Another piece that I've been 
I'm working on is this piece and uh, you know it, and it's it's still pretty pretty naked in terms of all the things that I want to embellish it with you know uh, you know as you can see here you know is a little collage work that I uh, had added you know uh, uh, basically this is going to be a Egyptian or a comedic god of some sort um, you know it's just that I at this point right now I don't know which one but as I embellish this piece you know uh, my spirit would tell would give me that de designation you know that uh, uh, where I can name it or not name it, whatever, you know, it's just that uh, sometimes, you know, it's, sometimes it's good just to leave it alone and, and not uh, not give it a, uh, a title, you know. Sometimes I work that way, you know. Um, you know, I, there's something else I want to show you that I've been working on. And these are these are collage pieces uh, that uh, I've been doing on uh, candles, you know. And uh, I don't know if you can see this. Let me turn this around so the light is not diffused so much. But actually, I'm uh, collaging these candles here and just giving them what you call a. Uh, uh, an abstract feel, you know, uh, is one of the candles I work with. Here's another one, you know, and and, and this is like, uh, you know, again, working in my uh, collage Right, you know, so actually these are not paintings that I did, they're, they're actually a collage of paintings that I found and uh, that I really like. And, and here's another one, as you can see. Um, now you know what uh, you know. Uh, you know basically what I just did to these candles is just uh, collage them, and what I'll ultimately do is put some type of uh, sealant or shellac on these, you know, to, to smooth it out and, and give it a uh, a harder look, and 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 also. Uh, Basically, I kind of call these what you might say uh, ritual candles, you know, and uh, so it's, it's kind of a process of uh, sometimes uh, getting images and icons and different things and applying it to the candle, you know, as a uh, as a process of uh, a designating or uh, you know, it's just kind of a, I'm trying to look for that word, you know, giving it uh, uh, direction and giving it energy in order to make things manifest. And uh, now I, on this one, I went a step ahead uh, and uh, put uh, put some, uh, like a, a little dust on here. And put that. Uh, Cowry shells on this one, and uh, you know, kind of as you can see, I, I love using the eye, and it's like the third eye. And uh, but you know, you can see that uh, uh, you know, I like working with candles, and uh, also. Sorry about that. And also, you can go as far as to do boxes, 
you know, and, uh, you know, this is a, a box I did some time ago. Uh, again, like I, you know, I said, I have not, uh, put a coat of shellac on it and I'm, I'm still, you can see, still working with the, the collage, uh, uh, but, it, but you can see everything that is happening with the box, uh, you know, got different images on the box, images that I like, you know, and you know, it's just that, that if you have a box hanging around the house or something like that, you know, uh, this is an image that I uh, created, you know, uh, saxophone player or Nat Coleman or, you know, whoever you want to call them. But, uh, that's what I'm doing with the boxes. And, and, you know, and you can just always just go to, um, you know, thrift store or there, there's a place here, Cincinnati, uh, you know, I'm gonna give it a little advertising called Scrap It Up where I go to get a lot of my materials. And uh, I got this box, which I will be collaging and embellishing. And, uh, but, you know, you can always, uh, get a nice cigar box, you know. And, uh, you know, over there, you know, these boxes are probably, you know, 50 cent or whatever, you know. And, uh, you know, take these and embellish them and, and collage them and, you know, do your thing with it, you know. So, uh, that's my little thing on uh, uh, the boxes or whatever, you know. But, but uh, primarily, you know, it's just that, uh, you know, I'm, you know, as you can see in my studio, I'm, 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 I'm everywhere, you know, and I mean, you know, and that's, that's the way I work. Uh, that's my process. Uh, you know, there, there are some things that, uh, uh, but you know, uh, you know, I, I may, I may uh, focus on like collage, you know, for a while, you know, and then uh, hey, and you know, then you know, next the next week or whatever, I may start uh, focusing on like pastels, you know, and things. There, there's things in my mind that I want to do now which I will get to but it's always that process of something else that uh, I want to get to you know and you know and that's the journey of creating that's the journey of uh, art you know and then you know it's just that it, you know that energy that's inside and, you know you don't have to uh, you know and when you're creating you know your, your mind and your spirit and it is in a different place. It's not. It's not in that place. Even it's not where you worrying about bills and worrying about this and worrying about that. You know, and worrying about how you're gonna get here, or get there. You know, because if you just cre keep creating, you know, keep doing things. You know, and, and you know, and I'm coming to find out. You know, at my older age, you know, uh, that. Uh, it's really about quantity, you know, and you know you get that quantity out, you know, and uh, because I've always thought about that masterpiece, you know, and uh, I mean everything you do is a masterpiece, you know, and and but if especially if you do it from the heart, you know, do it from the spirit, so you know it's just that like uh, uh, a masterpiece is in the eye of the beholder and a lot of times, you know, it's just that then, then it's people that come out, you know, like make designations and say, well, this is a masterpiece, this is Mona Lisa, this is blah, you know, and, and suddenly everybody is like focused on that as a masterpiece, but, you know, it's just that uh, a masterpiece may be just something that you like, you know, 
that you find to be special, you know, and uh, within your realm, you know. Um, there, there's something else I want to show you, um, and uh, you know, it's, it's kind of like, uh, let me get it here. And this is a piece that I did some time ago. Uh, it's a style that I love to do. This, this is collage and paint and uh, an explosion of uh, all different types of things, you know, but uh, this is basically a, a direction of style that I had to, intended to go into. But, you know, again, you know, it's just that like, hey, you know, it's uh, maybe, Maybe one of you would like this and want me to do another piece like this and, and hey, I can do it, you know. I mean, you know, it's just that uh, there you are, you know. Um, you know, it's just a, just a matter of this, hey, you know. Uh, you know, I, I sold one piece like this and, and they love it, you know. And, you know, it's just that... Uh, Sometimes, you know, I get this thing is that, that, you know, things that folks love, you know, but, uh, you know, it's just that uh, I even forget to say, hey, well, maybe I'll do another piece, but, hey, I'm, I'm gone doing something else, and there it is, you know, and, you know, it's just that, uh, that's the way we work sometimes, and, uh, but, one of the things that uh, I am interested now in and maybe uh, I will show that in my next video uh, uh, it's um, this is this is a piece that I, met, I was working on in my last video. Um, it's, um, I hope I can lower this down a little bit. Notice that, like my music is, uh, has went off, but uh, Um, you know, this this is uh, a mixture, like I was saying, of uh, collage and, and paint, and and it's kind of like a little caricature of uh, a trumpet player. And uh, you know, it's just that, and probably you know, because most of the time I have wasted most of the time in this video just showing you different styles and different things, but. Uh, um, in my next video, uh, I'm really going to start, uh, working on a piece. There's, there's this whole thing that's in my mind right now, uh, that, uh, you know, is, is really taking over my mind in terms of, uh, what I want to say. And it's dealing with these masks, you know, and, uh. You know, sometimes I just call them mass or mass destruction or whatever, you know, it's just that, but it's dealing with these masks and dealing with uh, the symbology behind the mass and, and what's going on. I mean, you know, it's just that, yeah, you know, we, we wear the mask to protect us from uh, from the virus, uh, from COVID-19, but uh, there's something deeper that is happening with this whole mass thing, you know, and... Uh, you know, 
and and it's trying to come up in my consciousness. It's trying to come up in my spirit in terms of so, I'm you know, the 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 next video I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start with these masks. Uh, I have a piece that's already uh, ready to go in on uh, what is happening with the mask. Uh, but you know, because uh, a lot of the a lot of the uh, questions that I have are answered through art, through the process, you know, through the decoding, through the, the symbols, uh, uh, you know, it's just that like even the process of doing things starts speaking to me and saying, like, oh, okay, wow, okay, I see, I see where this is going. I see what I need to do. Oh, okay, that's why I did that. Because something in my subconscious told me to put that there and put that color in there and, and and deal with it this way and that way, you know. And uh, and through the process of art, you know, uh, you can answer a lot of questions, you know. I mean, you know, because uh, uh, especially when you, you know, get into doing it uh, in a, uh, what, uh, what's the word I want to use? Uh, improvisationally, uh, uh, doing it in a uh, uh, spontaneous kind of way, you know, because because you know the the answers are in our subconscious, you know, uh, and you know, and it's deep down in that that part of us that uh, we don't see because we got that covered up with uh, thinking about uh, things that are going on and with our conscious mind, you know, it's just. Uh, you know, whatever it was in the news, uh, you know, uh, what store I'm going to go to, uh, what bill I need to pay, uh, blah, blah, blah. So, but, but once you, uh, delve into a process that, uh, is able to, uh, release, you know, that, that deeper part of ourselves that, that, uh, uh that, that, subconscious you know uh whatever you know and and a lot of answers are there uh believe me a lot of answers are there you know it's just that uh, you know sometimes you trying to figure something out and the answer is right in front of your face but you can't see it so uh, uh you know so but um like i said uh, i will um continue to work on this piece and and the next time I do a video, I will uh, um, start working on because uh, I'm I'm thinking about the uh, that whole concept of the mask right now, and uh, you know, and I know you know within your spirit, you know, I mean, you know, it's, you've been asking the same question or whatever, you know, it's just that like we 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 told over and over to. To wear those masks and and everything, and uh, you know, usually when when I go in the store or wherever I have to go to wear it, you know, I put my mask on. You know, it's just that, um, you know. But as soon as I'm able to take it off, I take it off. You know, uh, it's not it's not something. Uh, you know, I don't want to continuously be breathing my own toxins, and I guess that's why you breathe out because you're breathing out things that should not be in I don't know but uh, but any anywho uh, you know it's just that uh, I want to thank you for watching this little Saturday morning video uh, you know just wanted to get some, some things off my mind and start the day with a, a, a little creativity uh, you know again you know this is kind of like meditation for me you know, and uh, uh, it just kind of gets me ready to get busy, you know. So until I come with you with the next uh, installment, you know, I want you to have a great day and, uh, you know, do something on the creative level and uh, uh, stay well. Odabo.